What's up? Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy Kwanzaa, any other holiday I'm forgetting to mention, happy that, and happy new year. I got a comment on one of my videos, the things that I hate about my E30 video. I had been asked if the issue had been resolved, if I had fixed one of the things that I hated. The answer was no. I really had not even looked into fixing it yet. I had not done any research on how to fix it or um, common problems with uh, the issue I was having, and that was that the um, emergency brake button or so I thought was pushed all the way in. It's still fully functional, but it was one of those things that isn't really on the top of my to-do list just because it's so unimportant. I mean, the thing still works. It's just um, convenience wise, it wasn't up there. Anyways, the guy asked if I had fixed it. I guess one of the co common problems, and I would imagine with any car um, that's up in age, the actual handle uh, slid back. Or no, it slid forward. Slid forward. So there's some sort of glue that holds the handle in place and it had just slid forward. Um, I will put a link to his video because he actually made a video on it. I think it's the only video on his channel. I, I looked at it and I watched it. Um, his e-brake looks a little bit different than mine, but it is something I was willing to try. It's two or three minutes of work and it's either going to work or it's not. So I thought I would try it and if I did, then I'll cross one thing that I dislike about my car off my to-do list. Um, but like I said, it was so unimportant to me. Um, that I was willing just to kind of deal with it and not look into fixing it. But since it is such an easy fix, why not do it, right? So I'm going to take you out to the E30 real quick. And I hope all of you guys have a good rest of your 2017. If it sucked, that's completely fine. Monday starts a brand new year, which I'm excited about. I wasn't a huge fan of 17, but it's another year. I'm going to go out to my E30 real quick and we're going to see if this is just going to be an easy fix. Okay, so here's the current e-brake situation. Um, the button, like I said, you have to kind of work at it to get it out um, or to get it out of place of setting the e-brake. Not a huge inconvenience, just something that's annoying. Um, but obviously, like I said, if, if I can fix it in a couple minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So the suggestion was down here, there's some sort of glue um, holding this in place. And what's happened is that glue has either cracked or just disintegrated or it's not doing its job anymore so this right here has shifted up um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this down um, and see if that fixes the problem and see if that's all it is my assumption was that this button had somehow gotten pushed back by either being pushed too hard or something um, so that's what I had assumed I never even really thought that it could actually just be this moving out of place so I'm gonna try that real quick hold on That is tough. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to move this back as much as I can. This is kind of getting in the way. So what I want to eventually do is have this gross kind of weird rubbery thing. I want it to match the custom shift boot that I made for this. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of rotating and pushing that back as far as I can. It's stuck. It's a really, really tight fit. So it's taking a little bit more elbow grace than I thought, but I'm just rotating it and trying to move it back. So I'm gonna do that again. Oh my God, that's hard. So like I said a second ago, this is kind of getting in the way. So I need to make sure that it is up and around the back part like it really should have been the whole time, but since it moved up, it got out of place. Oh my God, that's hard. Okay. Oh my gosh, Woo! that is a workout. So that already looks a thousand times better. It's getting a lot harder to push back, so I don't know if that's as far as it can go. I'm gonna give it one more try. And if it doesn't really move, then that's kind of where it's gonna stay, but I'll show you the difference right now. Hold on. Oh, sh Nikes, that's tough. Okay, so I think that's about as far as it's gonna go, or that's as far as I'm gonna do it. Okay, so you can see that it's already made a huge difference. Um, that button 
that button right there was not even visible earlier. So, I mean, it's completely visible now. Really, really, really good suggestion from that guy. Um, like I said, I never thought that it could be that this thing shifted up um, or moved out of place. I always thought it was somebody pressing the button too hard because I have, I've heard of that happening in other cars. People just either this wearing out or pressing it too hard or whatever, but all in all actuality, it was this guy right here. So that's a really easy fix. I'm really, really glad the guy shared that suggestion and I got that over with. So now I no more having to stick my finger all the way through. I can just use it like it's intended. So thank you very, very much for the suggestion. Um, yeah, easy fix.